Hello and a very warm welcome. 2020 F1 predictions. We do this every year. We did it for 2019. We're going to do it for 2020. We'll go down a few like world champion constructors, surprise, big shock. And yeah, we just cover it. And then we'll probably come back on this video and check whether we got it right or not. Um, F1, it, we just had testing. Testing is complete. I'm looking forward to Melbourne. I can't wait for Melbourne. Quite hot today. Bloody hell. Um, which is a shock in the UK because it's been absolutely Baltic. Um, we'll start with the world champion. The world champion is pretty obvious, is it not? Obviously, it's going to be the pacey Canadian of Lance Stroll. Obviously, it's going to be Lewis Hamilton. Why is it going to be Lewis Hamilton? Dominated the hybrid era. Um, Six-time world champion. Going for seven to equal Schumacher. Mercedes are dominant. He beats Valtteri Bottas every day of the week because, let's be real, Hamilton is a hundred times a better driver than Bottas. So the world champion is Lewis Hamilton. Constructors, again, Mercedes, dominated the hybrid era, won every single Constructors Championship since the hybrid era. So they're going to make it, uh, how many is it? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 7 in a row. Wow, bloody crazy. Dominate this, this F1 team. Uh, incredible. I mean, when you think Schumacher and Ferrari, how dominant they were, Mercedes are taking it to a new level. Incredible. Right, the driver's surprise. Now, this is a driver who's going to surprise everyone. And for me, I'm going to go with the returning Frenchman, Esteban Ocon. I, I, think, I rate this guy highly. Should have never been dropped in the first place. Was a disgrace he was dropped. And I think he will surprise. Am I saying he'll beat Ricardo? No, but I, I think he'll surprise a few. I think Ocon is a very solid driver. And I think he definitely can surprise people. Um, whether he can get a podium, maybe out the question. Renault have looked quite poor in testing for me, so... Interesting. Um, Team surprise. Now, we've just had testing. Racing point for sure are going to be the team surprise. I mean, they were the team surprise in testing. I genuinely believe Racing Point could get three podiums this season. Obviously, it's testing. It's hard to judge. But Racing Point look absolutely superb. They basically copied Mercedes' design. And I genuinely think... Just think, Perez is always there when the podium's available. And now he's actually got the car underneath him. So, I would say the team surprise Racing Point. Maybe you could say Williams in that aspect because they can't really do much worse. Huge shock. Now, I have gone bold. I've gone absolutely bold with this uh, prediction. The huge shock. It's not going to happen during the season, but at the end of the season. Now, we could have Sebastian Vettel retires. Uh, that's been talked about, that Vettel could retire. But I'm going Russell, George Russell will get the Mercedes seat. I'm pulling it out there. Russell will get the Mercedes seat. Bottas is not capable of winning the World Championship. He's too nicey-nicey. He's not aggressive enough. Honestly, Russell used to be the Mercedes reserve driver. I would love to see George Russell. Will it happen? I mean, they're really happy with Bottas, aren't they, Mercedes? Because he plays the number two, he's nicey nice, but that is a huge call. But I would love to see Russell in there. Absolutely destroy Kubitzer. He probably will destroy Latifi this season. Give him a chance. English, huge shock. Now, my big call, unpopular opinion. And this is... Not, not, I wouldn't say unpopular opinion, but it's a big call. I'm going to say Alexander Albon will not win a race like during the whole season. Not because I don't like Alexander Albon. I have to choose something, and that's what I'm going with. Alexander Albon will not win a race. 
I think he will get a podium, but he will not win a race this season. And podium shock. Uh, well, we've already covered that. I believe Sergio Perez can get more than one podium. I believe Racing Point. I've been so impressed with Racing Point, but it is testing. Are we getting too carried away? I probably am, but I believe Perez could get easily three podiums. I mean, think about it. He's got eight podiums in average, like, mid-team cars. If Racing Point are as good as I hope and I expect and I've seen in testing, I definitely believe Perez could get three. And Rookie of the Year, we usually do Rookie of the Year, but there's one rookie this season, Nicholas Latifi. So there's no point doing Rookie of the Year because that would just pointless. So there we have it, F1 2020 predictions. World Champion will be Lewis Hamilton. Constructors will be Mercedes. Driver Surprise will be Esteban Ocon. Team Surprise Racing Point. Huge Shock, Russell will get the 2021 20, seat at Mercedes. Albon won't win a race. Huge call, unpopular opinion. And Podium Shock. Well, Podium Shock. Not really a shock, but he will get more than... He will get at least three Perez. Podium Shock, you could also say... Could we see... I mean, we saw quite a few podium shocks last season. Kvyat, Gasly, Sainz. But oh, I'm excited for Racing Point. I just hope they live up to expectations. Leave your comments down below. What are your predictions? Let me know. Thanks for watching. Adios. And we go on to Melbourne. Can't wait for the season to finally begin. It's getting closer and closer.